My name is Ashley Rabel and I'm a fifth grade teacher at Huber Ridge Elementary within Westerville City Schools. This is my third year as a teacher. When my students come in from math, they just sat in a, an hour and 15 minute math block. We take something called a brain break. We dance, we stretch, we do yoga. It's up to them, whatever they choose. It's just a way to get them to give their brains a break and it's also time for the other students to get organized and put their math stuff away and to get ready for the next um, period, which is language arts. Language arts starts with a mini lesson utilizing clickers. So this clicker technology is directly correlated to specific students, so I know what student answered what questions. The question comes up, the students provide their answer, and then I can gauge right there the number of students that know the answer, that do not know the answer, and I can also identify the misconception if there's a, an answer that a lot of students selected but was not the correct answer. And then later on, I can go back and find specifically what students were missing, what questions, and go on from there and teaching them in the small groups or individually based on their specific needs or misunderstandings for the lesson. My approach to blended learning is a guided reading kind of setup where I have students who work with me and then all of the other students are working independently on different stations or rotations. Students who are working out on their own are working on things also that I found that they specifically need. My students each individually are provided a rotation schedule. There are five groups within my class, but with, even within those five groups, some students might have different schedules based on their needs and abilities. So we have three different rotations, Monday through Friday. So on Monday, they have each rotation listed. So first rotation, they do this. And if they're working on writing and they need to grab a Chromebook, they know that they just go out, grab a Chromebook, find a seat and get to work. So they know specifically where they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to be there, because I instruct them we are going into our first rotation. That would be their very first block of that day. Second rotation, very second block of that day. Third rotation, very third block of that day. So they each have specific papers that has their name on it. It is their schedule. It is different from everybody else's, and that's what they need to follow. We came back together from our rotation, and we reflected. Well, what did I do? What did I accomplish here? Did, was there something that I was really, really proud of? And if so, they share it out with the class, and then we celebrate it together. I know that blended learning works because of the level of engagement within my classroom. They know exactly what they're supposed to be doing, they're fully engaged with what they're doing, and they enjoy it. So I also know blended learning works because of the star scores that I've analyzed from month to month, from the beginning of the year to now. Each month, not only have they grown, but they've exceeded the results that were anticipated by STAR. And then as a class, we come together and set a higher goal for ourselves, and sometimes we meet that, sometimes we even exceed that. The reason why blended learning, I believe, needs to be used is because our 21st century students, it's what they've grown up with, it's what they live with every day. It is a lot easier than it seems to be. You just have to get started and get it going and constantly practicing with them. That way it's getting done the way in which you find that they need to be doing it in the most effective way.